the best Javoy fragrances. There are a lot of Javoy fragrances in general, but I've kind of picked out ones that I think are the most prominent, at least the ones I think are really, really good. Uh, I'm going to start with one that I've actually reviewed before, but I'll bring it up again because it is pretty good. This is Psychedelic. Psychedelic. This is, if you're looking for anything with patchouli, like pure patchouli, this is going to be it. This is one of the purest patchouli fragrances I've ever, ever come across. And it's mixed with some, you know, similar notes, complementary notes, like there's some amber, some labdanum, things like that. A little bit of uh, vanilla, I believe, some florals, but primarily you're getting the patchouli and uh, the amber. This is kind of vaguely similar to, um, from uh, Serge Lutin, uh, Ambre Sultan, which is pretty much a resin fragrance with like amber and things like that. Similar to this, but this just has a really strong patchouli twist in addition to the resins. Uh, a lot of people don't know what patchouli smells like. It pretty much just smells like this earthiness, uh, which is hard to describe, but earthy, heavy, almost musky, but if plants had musk, which is kind of a strange thing to say, but it's the closest approximation I could think of. Um, and in general, it's just very heavy. Um, patchouli was very popular, uh, but like patchouli oil was very popular in the 60s and 70s, so it kind of has that hippie vibe. But um, in general, it's a very natural smelling uh, fragrance here and very strong. You definitely don't want to put on too much of this because it's pretty intense. It's going to really stick to you. Um, but it, I actually prefer it once it dries down for about 20 minutes because when you first put it on it's actually really really strong almost too strong but once it dries down it's very nice smooth and heavy um, and this will last pretty much all day all evening it's gonna last at least eight hours on most people so definitely if you're going for a you know really heavy patchouli bomb you might as well go with psychedelic from Jovoy. now if this is too much for you because it is too much for some people Another one that I think is really nice is this one, Ancident Diplomatique. This is more of a pure vetiver uh, fragrance. It actually has two types of vetiver, Haitian and Java vetiver. Vetiver is kind of like a dried, grassy, woodsy, earthy type of note. Another, you know, not quite similar to patchouli because patchouli has more, I guess, oomph to it. But vetiver is, it kind of reminds me of like, I don't know, if you've ever been around just a, lots of dried branches and dried wood in a forest or something, you know, it has that certain woodsy smell that's dried out and there's a certain breeziness to it. It's kind of like that, but um, it has a certain warmth to it as well, which is nice. Maybe just a little bit musky, but really it's more about the woodsiness that this has. Um, it also does last quite a while, but not, uh, it doesn't project quite as much as psychedelic. Um, it's more of a moderate type of fragrance, you know, not super projection, but still pretty good projection. Um, and longevity on this is pretty good, probably about seven hours, six to seven hours. Um, but this is definitely nice if you want something that smells very natural, not too strong, not too weak, really just right in the middle, has a certain warmth to it, um, and again, kind of reminiscent of the forest, that sort of thing. Um, but this is definitely, like personally, one of my favorite Jovoy fragrances, just because I think it has a nice natural warmth to it, um, and a certain, I guess, dryness, like a clean, natural dryness. I don't know if that... Uh, is the right words to describe it, but that's kind of how I think about it. The next one that I quite like is uh, Remember Me. This is very different from both Psychedelic and Ancident Diplomatique, mainly because this is like a soft vanilla type of fragrance. It's It has prominent notes of um, cardamom, tea, milk, and vanilla. Whenever I smell this, I think of Earl Grey tea, like that really strong dark tea, black tea um, scent, plus milk, and a little bit of sugar, and you get pretty much what this smells like, um, which I quite like. It's like a comforting 
smooth, uh, lighter type of smell. It also has some woodsy notes, but those really don't compare to the the smell of the tea and the and the milk and the vanilla. Um, so yeah, it's very similar to just the smell of a dark black tea. Then you add some you know milk and sugar into it. Um, but definitely a nice, warm, comforting um, fragrance. Not for everyone, just because it's it's a pretty unique scent, you know? Not everyone wants to smell like milk tea, but um, I quite like it. It's just, uh, it's more of an intimate fragrance as well. It's not super strong. Um, maybe about four to five hours of longevity. Projection, again, it's more intimate, um, but it's still nice. I really like how it just smells. Um, so. Besides this one, going for something that's a little bit stronger. The next one is Private Label here. This is pretty similar to Ancident Diplomatique in terms of um, its kind of vetiver notes, although it's also kind of similar to Psychedelic in terms of its patchouli notes. Uh, it also has some leather and some wood notes, so it's not as strong as Psychedelic, especially not just in terms of the patchouli, but it does have a relatively prominent patchouli note, the vetiver, the leather, things like that. So this is probably one of the most subtle fragrances here. It's meant to be very, very natural, very much like you're just walking through like a field or the forest, you know, you know, if you spent a lot of time in the forest and then you come back home, you're probably going to smell pretty similar to how this smells. Um, you know, just a natural ruggedness, uh, which is quite nice. You know, if you want uh, just a light type of fragrance, this is this isn't very strong, which is kind of a downside. But again, if you're looking purposely for a lighter type of fragrance, not too intrusive, just a natural type of smell, this is a very good option. Then the strongest one on this list, which is Pavillon Rouge. This is. Um, a boozy, spicy, leathery tobacco fragrance. So you got all the heavy notes combined into one fragrance. Specifically, it has some rum, some whiskey, uh, even it has some coffee, some ebony wood, a little bit of resins, and a little bit of vanilla. This is pretty strong. Definitely not for everybody. Um, I quite like it just because I like heavier fragrances, but definitely if you like tobacco and you like um, boozy fragrances, you'll probably like this just because the strongest notes are the tobacco and, you know, like the rum and things like that. This is very, it has that classic, like, jazz club cabaret type of smell. Pretty similar to Re uh, Replica Jazz Club, um, but I would say this is actually a little bit stronger. Uh, it's more potent and more prominent, that sort of thing. Actually, a little bit longer lasting as well. Um, so if you want to smell, you know, pretty jazzy and and smoky, this is a pretty good option. But that is my list of the top five uh, Jovoy fragrances um, for this video. So hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, of course, you can always leave a like, maybe subscribe. And I make videos like these throughout the week, so stick around for those.